I was born here in 1982 and my parents named me after the Al-Zahara Hospital. So even though I'm fully British, my, uh, my name is actually Arabic, uh, which means flower in Arabic. If you get into radio, you, you're in it because you feel passionate, either for entertaining or the music or presenting. I mean, there's so many different, uh, I suppose, outlets to radio. Um, you choose your path and you follow it. There was this great, uh, there was this great moment when um, I had, I think it was my first show ever, um, and I was really nervous. Um, and my my co-presenter at the time just sat me down and said, "You know what? It's it's fine. You're gonna love this in two months. I know you are." And at the time, I didn't think it was true, but in two months, you realize that, you know. Doing this kind of show, it's not about you, it's about the musicians who come into the show. Uh, and then I relaxed and it was amazing. So, you know, I can, I can only hope that I, I let the musicians who come into the studio feel as relaxed as my co-presenter made me feel my first show. It's, it's about my guests and I don't want to hog the limelight, you know, I don't want to make the show about me. So, you know, if, if they're telling me about their life experiences and their, their, their musical influences, of course, if they say something that I personally share, then I will, I will say that. But um, I, I don't feel that it's appropriate to be like, oh, and then I did this, and because it's not about me. So I'm just very proud of all the musicians who come in and, and will actually agree to come in and, and sit down and be in the hot seat that open mic is, if you asked me two years ago um, if you could go somewhere, anywhere in Dubai, seven days a week and hear live music out and about, I would have laughed and said no, it's not possible. I mean, when I was growing up here, um, I, would, I would learn to treasure things like Battle of the Nands, uh, Desert Rock. These would be just moments in time that, that you would really look forward to. But, uh, but now there's just so much choice, which is incredible. I kind of feel that open mic on the radio started at the right time because people, uh, musicians, are coming out of the woodwork and um, they're just, you know, they're letting themselves be heard, which is amazing because before, when I was growing up, it would be very much in your bedrooms and, and that's that. But with internet and computer technology and the open mics at Dubai Lime organize uh, seven days a week, it's just so much easier for me as, as a radio personality to find the talent or have the talent come to me. So it's great. I've had singing lessons, I've had keyboard lessons, I've had guitar lessons, I've had drum lessons, and I've had recorder lessons. Um, and I was bad at all of them. I think when you've tried five instruments out and you're bad at all of them, you just, you know it's not your calling. But I love listening to music. Um, if I had to, if I had to kind of say what I like doing best is going and seeing live music. So for me to have it in my studio uh, once a week for two hours, I mean, who could ask for a better job? I try and make my show mostly about live music. So um, you know, if I, if it's not live music in the studio, then it'll be from a live album. And I just think it's great uh, when you when you hear particular albums like. Um, I don't know if I can mention some artists, uh, but uh, like the Talking Heads, Bob Dylan. Um, there's this one really amazing album by James Brown. It's from like 1966 when his voice was at you know the strongest, and you just hear the personalities and you do, it just it's got a raw character to it which I really like. So I would recommend to anyone if you've got a favorite artist out there, get a live album because it's just ten times better than studio. That's my personal. Opinion. The most energy I've ever felt at a concert has to be, um, and in fact there's two. One was an African singer called Kanan, who now lives in Canada, uh, and he actually grew up in Somalia, and he was a Somali uh, child soldier, 
and he was performing at Glastonbury this year and the crowd was amazing, like so supportive and he was telling us his life story and it was just, it was a really special experience. Um, and then the second concert was in London and that was the uh, Rise Singer Khaled and people were wearing the Algerian flags and cheering and yelling and the energy was just amazing. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I, I suppose that a lot of country western music is a little bit saturated in self-pity sometimes, but there are those great artists out there, you know, particularly like people like Dolly Parton, who, you know, is such a smart woman and she gets a lot of flack, I suppose, in the media, but I have total admiration for her. And then, you know, people I suppose like uh, Ryan Adams, who again gets a lot of criticism in the media, but is just a very intelligent and sensitive guy. So these people I love. From the 20th century, B.B. Uh, King, Howling Wolf, um, even to a certain extent Eric Clapton. You know, these people, they pour their heart and soul into their music. And okay, fine, a lot of the songs are very depressing, but you know, it's what you feel and you can feel what, what they're trying to express. And I think that's amazing. I want to say thank you to my friend Natasha who is my producer who basically works for free. She comes into the radio station every week, um, Saturdays, 7 till 9 p.m., and videos and photographs everything, and really helps out with making the musicians feel relaxed, um, as, well as, as well as my partner, Mr. Zara, who, who gives me a lot of advice, and we listen to music together, and you know, we go into MySpace together, and you know, just try and, try and find the talent that is out there, and I know it's out there in Dubai. So thank you to everyone, and especially to Byline, who have organized, you know, as we were talking about, seven open mics a week that, you know, you can just go to and chill out and if you're frustrated or, you know, you've had a bad day, you can listen to this amazing live music and just chill out. So it's great.